What's up, muscle car people? This is Bring Up Muscle Cars, and today we have another installment of Wash Wednesday. We're trying another wax test on the hood of the Fiesta. So we have two similar products here. It's gonna be a great basis of comparison. We have a Meguiar's uh, liquid ceramic wax, and we have the Ethos Car Care Pro Ceramic Wax. This guy is gonna go on this side, and this guy is gonna go on this side. So stay tuned and find out uh, how these waxes perform. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Um, ooh, it has a very fruity scent to it. Kind of nice. It doesn't really make a difference whether wax has a smell to it or not, but it is a welcome um, component of these products. So you don't smell like chemicals and you know burn your nose off. So we're gonna apply a little bit to the sponge here. I just did wash the car outside, so everything's clean and the surface is prepped. So we're just gonna apply in a circular manner. This cap's kind of broken, to be honest. It doesn't open up the whole way. It's kind of a downer. I mean, that may not be McGuire's fault. Oh, I know what it is. There's caps in the back and there's a little bolt down for a while. Why don't you just do it? Oh, it does smell. Yeah, it smells good. It's very fruity. So we're going to do half of the hood. And we'll take it down to the front bumper, too. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. Actually, we can probably start wiping it off over here. You can see it start to cure. So of course, I'm just flipping over to the other side of my applicator. And we're going to wipe off that wax. It's coming off really nice and easy. To be honest, guys, I think I much prefer these liquid waxes. I think they're easier to apply and take off and manage and control. You know, sometimes when you have these, like a Karuba wax or a paste wax, um, you can get blotches and chunks coming out. And, uh, this is just much more manageable. That went on and off really easy. All right, let's try the ethos. Okay, guys, we have the ethos here. Now this, this definitely has more of a wax smell to it. Uh, no, nothing at all like the McGuire's. There's a lot of work getting done in the shop today. <laughs> so we're gonna apply the same way. If you notice, this is more of a gray color. It's definitely, definitely has more of a like waxy feel to it where you can see how it's uh, getting glazed over. The Meguiar's was definitely more of a liquid and you couldn't see it as well where you were applying. This is not like that at all. This is very comparable to your standard wax. You can see that glaze coloration on there. Once again, taking it down to the bumper. Uh-oh. And I'm gonna flip it over to the clean side. You might need a towel for this one. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's coming off pretty easy. Yeah, I think we will need a towel. There's one behind you. It's a little bit more pasty, so it doesn't, it kind of galls up the, uh, the sponge pretty quick. And this one doesn't come off as easy. Like I said, it has more of those, that waxy quality to it than the McGuire's did. But all in all, about that much more difficult. Flip to a clean side. Just make sure we get it all off. No. Okay guys, so that's both those waxes applied. First takeaway. This is definitely more smooth. Um, it was more difficult to get off. The Meguiar's was a lot easier to, to rub off, but that does not mean it's better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another environmental test where we're gonna drive the car for about a month, maybe a little bit over a month. We're gonna check back in 
and we'll do a spray test. Uh, we'll see how the water shears off both surfaces. Right now, they look pretty comparable to each other, but really with the wax, what you want is for it to hold up over time. That's the whole idea is to have, it's to protect that clear coat. So we're gonna check back in and we'll let you know what we find. So consider it. All right, guys, we're gonna do a test to see which one has the smoothest surface. We have two new sponges here as we did last time. I'm gonna slowly lift the hood. Um, remember, we have the ethos on this side, the McGuire's on this side, and we're gonna see which uh, sponge winds up sliding the quickest. I knew that was gonna happen. I can feel, look at that. That might be worse than the other one. Yeah, I could I could feel when I was taking the wax off of this side, it has created a much smoother surface. The Meguiar's almost feels like I didn't put any wax on at all. It just feels like clear coat. So that'll be interesting. Um, this was harder to get off. It's, it's actually left to protect the film over top. We'll find out. Uh, we'll check back in in a month or so from now and do a uh, water shear test and see how these products have hold up. Ready. Okay guys, so we're back. It's been about two months, actually almost exactly two months. Um, we filmed this in March when we applied it, and it is now a very balmy, hot day here in Pennsylvania, about 80 degrees, and we are in late May. So only two months, really, for these uh, products to you know, protect this vehicle. I've been daily driving it every single day. I haven't really gone on many big, long road trips or anything like that, so just back and forth to work. Um, have been a few storms here and there, but otherwise just normal weather. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how the ethos performed, see how the ceramic wax performed, and see if there's any differences. I actually have already tested this, so I know the answer, but so just so you guys can see. Oh, it's not on. Oh, it's not. So yeah, we're gonna see what these two products do. I will say there's a little bit more sheeting on the right. But overall, I, you know, honestly, we've done these tests in the past and I'm not overly pleased with either of these products. Um, especially the last time we tested, I believe it was, a, wasn't it the turtle, turtle wax? wax yeah. yeah. And that was throughout the entire winter. so. I drove this thing through snow. The, the, the salt up here in PA, like they salt the roads like crazy, um, which is like really hard on vehicles. And you know, it's still like, it's still beaded, flat, uh, beaded water, no problem at the end of three months. So between both these products. The ethos on the left looks a little better. Yeah, I would say the ethos is definitely better, but But still, I would give it like a mid-tier, mid-range, you know, um, uh, protection over the vehicle. So I hope you guys like this video. You know, we we'll keep doing a whole bunch of different products. Um, it's just safe to say that when you buy something that says it's ceramic, it's it's kind of like a marketing thing. Like, it, it's, there, there's no comparison between um, this and what you would get out of an actual ceramic coat. Um, just be careful when you see some of this stuff and you buy it off the shelves because um, these companies really do like try to add extra words in there to you know help their sales. So I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you found it informative and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like these types of videos. We're doing real world testing here with different types of products so that you don't have to and you can get the best money or best bang for your buck. So I hope you like this video. If you have a fast car, you better bring it. Thanks for watching.